How's it going? I'm going to talk today about something I'm calling passing tones. And the idea is to help you with some improvisation. So this is something you can apply to a melody if you're playing a solo or a fill or even in a kind of a pad situation. Um, you can um, use these concepts. So here's what we're doing. We're going to play First, we're going to use the example of a C major chord. And everything you're going to see in this uh, video is going to apply to major chords. So all I'm doing is, if you see, your C major chord is here on the fifth fret. All of the strings. Now, when it says a C chord on the chart, I go to play a C chord. I tend to feel a little bit like I'm stuck here at the fifth fret and I can't do anything. So I want to be able to provide some movement. And what I'm going to use is um, other notes of the C major scale as passing tones to kind of provide that movement. And so specifically, the notes I'm using in this particular video are going to be the next note up on each string that's in the scale. So the way I remember it is 2-1-2, two, 2-1-2. One, two, two, one, two. So we're on the fifth fret. We go two frets up for the top string. Second string is one. Third string is two. Fourth string is two. Fifth string is one. Sixth string is two. You wonder why I'm saying two, but I'm on the seventh fret. Two frets up from the fifth fret where our C chord is. So we have our C chord. The next note in the C scale on the top string is that note there on the seventh fret. So the real simple example here is going to be I play my chord, and I'm going to play the passing tone, and then slide back to the chord, and then play my chord again. On the second string, it's only one fret up, so sixth fret. And on the third string, got two again. So this is really just the major scale. That's all it is. But I'm not going to, like, on, on a C chord, when I see a C chord, I'm not going to just, like, land on this seventh fret and consider that to be okay on a C chord. So this is why it's called a passing tone, is because this, this note is in the scale and is kind of a happy note, but it's not a note to land on. It's a note to use in passing. So this is all about creating some movement. The reason it sounds good is because I wind up back to where the C chord is. And now, there, I played a chord when I got back home, but um, you could play an arpeggio. You could end up playing an entire solo like this. That would be if your whole solo was on a C chord. So then you go to a D, D major chord, for example. We're on the seventh fret, and we have the same kind of pattern. An A chord. A G chord is open, so things are a little bit different. a little hammer on or something. C chord. G chord. A D chord. C chord. So it's just kind of making things up. But we've got a lot of movement and a lot of melody here when we get comfortable with these passing tones. And there's going to be more if you keep going. So um, this is just part one. So all right, this is over a C chord. What happens when we do it with a song? I'm going to try it with a song. Hopefully, it'll make some sense. I'm going to use uh, Will the Circle Be Unbroken. I might do some of my G chords up here. 
on the 12th fret and I might do some of them open. So we'll see what happens here. I'm going to try not to just play the melody. I'm just going to kind of use these concepts throughout and I'm going to use them. So the first time through is going to be like uh, intro. So I'm going to be kind of playing a melody and then Rachel will start singing and um, I'll be using the same concepts to play some backup. So if you don't know, this uh, play along track is, is part of the real world dobro section. So if you're looking for Will the Circle Be Unbroken, like this, um, that's where you go. All right, so here it goes. I'm going to try it. Three, four, one, two. So here we go. This is a G chord. chords and doing a little bit of movement. Okay. That was a G chord again. chords pretty quick. I had to sneak it in there real fast. So the whole idea here is to take our knowledge of chords and our knowledge of scales kind of um, and get comfortable adding some movement to what we're doing and it really makes the dobro sing out and it makes us feel like we're not just stuck on a certain fret. It is important that you have the ability to play single notes clean when you do this because if you don't, you end up with, well, you end up with a bunch of mess um, because not every note here on the seventh fret is correct, just the one note we're getting. So it's important that when you go to the passing tones that you uh, block out correctly and make sure that you're only getting one note to sound at that point. And then when you get back to your chord, your happy place, then, um, then you can get away with murder because... All the notes are good. So I go up there, one note, then I can do a chord. One note, then a chord. One note, and then a chord. I hope this helps uh, kind of start that fire of improvisation. And um, there will be another one coming. We'll get some different passing tones that we can use. And I hope this is helpful. So enjoy it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.